hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a an ankara top with a cider slit so this is a very easy top to make and you can make it like in under an hour or less um i am using a one and a half inch uh, fabric uh, for this tutorial you can use more you can use two in two yards if you want depending on how free you want your top to be okay so first i'm going to uh, draft the pattern on this pattern paper then we'll transfer to my fabric to cut it out so the first thing you do is draw your guideline from that guideline you measure out the length of the top so i'm working with a length of 28 inches uh, plus two inches as uh, seam allowance making it uh, uh, 30 inches now from the guideline get your chest line for me mine is nine inches and then shoulder to waist is 16 and a half inches and then my shoulder to uh, hip line is uh, 24 inches now i'm going to go ahead and extend all the lines like this okay and then you just go ahead and label your points so you know where each markings will go so I have the chest line, waist line, hip line, hem line, and also the seam allowance. Now on the on the guideline, measure three inches, and then measure again five inches, making a total of eight inches. So this is uh, my shoulder divided by two, and that is eight inches. And you mark the same on the chest line. You mark the same eight inches. And then you extend the line and square it out like this okay so from that line you come down by one inch and then you're going to uh, connect the line into the three inch mark in a slant manner like this so that's our shoulder slope now from the tip of the guideline you come down by four inches so uh, my neckline depth is four inches for the front and for the back is uh, two inches and then the neck line um, length is also four inches note i am not using zipper for this um for this top okay so that's why i'm marking my um front and back pattern at the same time but you can use a zip depending on your preference okay so after getting your neckline on the shoulder line you get the midpoint so you get the midpoint like this from that midpoint line you're going to go in by half an inch so that will be for our front armhole um, curve all right so now i'm going to just join the lines i join the line for the back armhole and then the front armhole after that on the chest line divide your bust measurement by four and you place that measurement plus one and a half inch as seam allowance then using the french uh, curve you're going to connect that to your armhole like this so now this is the front armhole okay so now on the waistline divide your waist measurement by four again place that measurement there and add one and a half inch as seam allowance to the same thing on the hip line divide your hip measurement by four plus one and a half inches seam allowance you can add two inches as your seam allowance depending on how uh, free you want your top to be okay so on the hem line we also the measure whatever measurement you have for your hip line you add that on your hem line then you go ahead and connect all the lines using your yardstick or ruler
Okay, I'm just going to recheck my measurements, make sure that they're accurate, and my steam allowance. Okay, so now after you've uh, connected all the lines, the next thing to do now is uh, to create the uh, side slate. So the side slate is going to start from the waistline. So what you're gonna do is use your hip uh, curve and uh, create a curve at the end of the hem line. Then from your waist um, line, you go ahead and create a, another curve. You can use your hip curve or you can do it freehand. So here it depends on what's, um, what design you want to make your curve to be, okay? So that's what I just did. You can make it deeper. Some people, they make their own to be in a slant manner or you, you make it to be like um, straight, all right? So I'm just uh, um, reviewing what we just did, how we created our neckline and um, the neck depth. I'm working with a four by four. Okay, so you can make your neckline to be less than four. If you're going to make it less than four, you have to use a zipper for your um, at the back so that your head can be able to go through. Okay. So now, and after that, we are ready to cut out our pattern. And this is the pattern. I place it on my fabric like this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Note you can draft this uh, directly on your fabric. Okay, I just uh, drafted mine on my uh, on a pattern paper so that my markings will be able to show. After you've cut the front, you fold your fabric again into two and then you place the back, you place the back pattern to cut out the back, um, the back piece. All right, go ahead and pin down your pattern on the fabric. And then this is the back. I've finished cutting it out. I'm just going to place notches on the waist, the hem line, and also the hip line. So I will know where each is before uh, when I'm joining them. All right. So I place the notching also on the front uh, fabric like that. After that, you go ahead, remove your pattern, your, your pins and remove your pattern paper. All right, so this is the front. Uh, this is the front piece. As you can see, the neck is uh, deeper. All right, and then go ahead and remove your pattern paper from your back piece. And this is my back piece again. We are not using zipper for this uh, top, okay? So you're going to place them together like this, and you'll be sewing the shoulder. 
you're going to sew the shoulder and then the side we're going to be sewing the side from the waist line up and then the rest will be the side slit that goes all the way down to the hem all right so that's why i placed the notches there so you're going to be sewing from the notch on the waistline okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and pin them and i will take them take this to the sewing machine Alright, like I said again, so you sew from the waist at the notch and then close all the way to the bust area. Then you'll be folding like this and hem it like that. Okay, so now uh, for the front. I mean, for the top, we are going to be using our facing. All right. So what you're going to do is get your pattern, get another pattern paper and fold it into two like this. Then place the front uh, pattern or the neckline. So you're just going to trace the neckline. You trace the neckline like this. And then on the shoulder line, measure two inches. So from the shoulder, from there, you, from the shoulder line, you measure two inches like that. And then also measure two inches down like this. Okay, now you're going to create a curve to meet the two inches like that. So we're going to cut this out and this will be for the front uh, facing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. This is what I'll be placing on my fabric to cut it out later. Okay, so this is the front facing. Now we're going to do the same thing for the back. You get your back uh, pattern and you place it and trace the neck just like we did for the front. Okay, so you come down by two inches and then you connect it like that. So if you were using zipper for your back, you have to cut too, but since we are not using zipper, it has to be on a fold, okay? So go ahead and cut out your pattern, um, the front, uh, I'm sorry, the back uh, facing. And it looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and place it on my fabric and then cut it out. All right, so these are my uh, facing. Okay, so these are my facing and the front facing and the back facing all right now the next thing we're going to do is draft the sleeve for the sleeve you can choose to make yours a uh, long sleeve or three quarter sleeve or short sleeve so for me i, I am using um, i'm going to be drafting a short sleeve okay so first I get my pattern paper and I fold it into two like this and then I'll draw a guideline at the beginning. 
Now from there, I'm going to get uh, the length of my um, sleeve. I'm working with a length of 10 inches plus one inch as seam allowance, making it 11. I go ahead and uh, mark out the lines like this. Okay. So now from the guideline we made, we're going to be placing our cap height. And to calculate your cap height, you're going to divide your bust measurement by 12 inches plus um, half inch uh, to that measurement. That's how you get your cap height. So mine, um, after my calculation, mine is a uh, four inches. And then you go ahead and mark that four inches like that. Now from that line, from that line, you're going to be placing your armhole measurement. So you can just take your pattern and make, you know, measure it around to make sure you get the accurate measurement. So whatever measurement you have, you go ahead and place that measurement on the cap height line like this. Okay. And then you use your ruler and connect it to the tip of the guideline like that. So now you remeasure that line and get the midpoint. So from that midpoint, go up by half an inch. Okay, you extend that line by half an inch like this. Then you use your ruler and connect that half an inch to your armhole line. All right, so this will be for the back armhole. Remember that the front armhole is uh, deeper. So after you did that, you use uh, your French curve and draw out the rest of the line. So this will be represent your back armhole. Now for the front armhole, you place the your um, French curve like this, and then you turn it over and connect the rest of the lines like this. Okay, so that will be your front armhole. All right, now on the at the length of your of the sleeve, you get your round sleeve. And then you're going to place the divide that into two and place that measurement on your on the length like this plus uh, one inch as seam allowance and you go ahead and connect it from the armhole and then that's it uh, basically your sleeve is done and we're ready to cut this out so before cutting it out you fold it in was like this the reason being that when you finish cutting, you don't want when you're joining to have a shortage at the hemline. All right. So you fold it like this and we go ahead and cut. We're going to be cutting the, the back armhole first. So you follow the line for the back armhole. Go ahead and cut that out. And then you go ahead and cut the rest of the hemline like this. Okay, so now we're going to open this up. Now you're going to follow the, the marking for the front armhole and then you trim it off like this. Okay, so now you label the back and we already labeled the front. So this is the sleeve. So if you're, if you're using long sleeve, you can do the same, use the same method and do, um, and draft your sleeve. So after you draft your sleeve, you can recheck by getting your pattern and uh, placing your 
your sleeve to make sure everything matches uh, perfectly okay like that I can see that everything matches so I'm going to be cutting that on my fabric all right so now we're ready to put the put the top together first you get your um, your facing for the front you place right sides of the facing and right side fabric facing each other and you go ahead and sew it all around after that you're going to place no uh, notches so that it will be easy to turn just like I'm doing here so you create our notches so you can be able to turn it over so you'll be top stitching by folding the excess towards the facing line and then you top stitch you're going to do the same for the back and now we are ready to join them together on the shoulder line all right now watch how i'm going to pin the shoulder okay so you place the right sides of the back and right side of the front uh, facing each other and you place the shoulder like this then you're going to pin it down and now you place uh, the facing for the front and the back you'll be holding it together making sure the necklines are matching so you'll be sewing them together like this so i'm just going to i will trim off the excess that right there all right so you're going to sew them together after which you flip it over like this and you'll have a clean finish so i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it together after you sew it together then um we'll be joining the sleeve so you open up your your top like this attach the sleeves like this after which you will turn it over after which you turn it over and then stitch the from the sleeve down to the waistline Okay, so you stitch down to the waistline and then stop at the notch and then you're going to fold like this and then also fold the hemline. Alright, so I'm going to do that and show you what it looks like. So this is the top. I have gone ahead and finished it and this is what it looks like. So if this video has been helpful, please give a thumbs up like share comment and uh, let me know on, on anything that you guys would like me to work on and i'll be happy to do it and um, i hope this tutorial has been helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you on my next video bye bye